evening boys and girls. Um, I've just given most of the stuff that's blue a coat of varnish. So I'm onto a few little odds and ends. And I was looking at the, the headlights and one thing which I noticed, so these are the choices you get. So these are the, I'll turn it over. So these are the, the ones with the shutters on it, the sort of blackout ones. Well, I don't, I don't want to use those because this is a post-war one. So I wouldn't have needed those. So you've got the ordinary sort of bowl type ones. But you can see that. There's a lot of material around the outside and not a lot in the middle. They don't look terribly realistic. Um, I haven't even looked at the glass yet. So look at that, see what that's like. So, yeah, if you can see that there. They're, they're not great. Um, so, I, I had a thought in the gecko kit. Uh, so you also get the blackout ones there. But then there's two types of round ones. There's these sort of drum shaped ones, which I'm not sure are right, or the bowl shaped ones there. <clears throat> Obviously this is no use to you unless you've got one of these. But I'm, what I wanna do is get these on there because I think these look the better, better option. Um, and the glass there, it's got the, whoops, this is the gecko one, if I can hold it. If you can see that. If I put, put something coloured behind it, I might be able to see it better. Does that show up now? No, not, get, not doing a very good job here. Uh, something dark. A bit of sandpaper, there we go. That's better. So you can see it's got the lines in it for diffusing the the light from the headlights. So much better option. And there's, there's two, because there's two frames, there's one on each. So what I need to do is this one has a different fitting and I've used those on the other kit, the bit that actually attaches it to the body. So what I'm gonna have to do just chop this off and left it on a bit of sprue to make it easier to manage. Um, which way around do these go? Don't suppose it matters too much because I'm going to bodge it anyway. Um, so I want a sort of oval shaped bit there and that kind of slots in. Which way around is it? That way. like that. So then what we're gonna to have to do is glue those on. And then get the, get these ones off. And I think what I'll probably do is get rid of the, the little nub on there. Uh, is nub a word? Yeah, that little bit there and drill a little hole to take the the other end of this bit and then put a little bit of filler in it perhaps. So it's not gonna be terribly accurate, but I think it'd be worth it because it will have a better looking headlight. And then I can paint some silver inside it and it will look okay. So I probably won't get to do that tonight because all I'm gonna do is glue the glue these bits on and leave that. So you don't need to watch me do that. I can do that off camera. So a bit of bodgery to be done. Okay, so it looks a bit like a like a frog. Uh, <laughs> so all I've done is, so I've put the Airfix brackets on, as they should be. Then I've got the um, gecko headlamp um, bits. Headlamp, what do they call them bits? 
the, the back, the main bit of it anyway. And if you can just see up in there, so you've got this bit that sticks down and there was a little tiny bit poked out of that. So I just sanded that off and glued it straight onto the top of the bracket. So I didn't need to drill anything out. Um, thinking it's at roughly the right angle because they sort of point down slightly. Um, may not be completely in the right place, but I think that's going to look better than the alternatives. So that's the first bit in the FX kit that I thought mm, not, not as good as it could be. But um, luckily I had those laying about to, to fix it with. I mean, if, if you don't have the Gecko kit, there's probably aftermarket headlights out there you can get hold of. Or um, or just use the original ones and it's up to you. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do. But um, yeah, quite happy with that. That'll do. So I'll just make sure that sets nicely before I try and paint it or put the, the glass in or anything. I've got to spray it yet, of course, as well. So we should leave that down there. I'll just show you what else I've done tonight. So wasn't getting anywhere with the 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 mud on the tires there. So had a little look at ideas of how to make them look muddy. And what I've done is I've just given them a squirt of uh, satin varnish. I thought maybe gloss, but I don't know, somehow it didn't seem right to gloss them. So just waiting for that to dry. And then what I'm going to do is make up a, a wet, I'm not going to do a wash. I'm going to do just a, a thin uh, brown uh, paint and just slop it on all over and then just leave that for a little while and then just take a little bit off around there just so you can see the tire through it and then perhaps take a little bit off the tread so it looks like it's been through mud but it's been down the road a bit as, as well <clears throat> oh pardon me and to see how that goes okie dokie so I'm just gonna have a go uh, I've got a little bit of brown just put a bit of airbrush flow improver. I thought that might work better than thinners. Hoping it makes it go further without making it too um, see-through. I could be wrong. I don't know. Never done this before. I think colour wise it's alright. It's uh, Vallejo Dark Earth. Uh, which looks to me like clayish mud rather than sort of sandy soil. But I am no geologist or um, gardener. <laughs> so, okay, let's have a look at that. That's not too bad. So you can still see a bit of the rubber through it. So, just going to try taking a little bit off with a little bit of thinners. Which of course might absolutely ruin it. Just a bit of thinners on a cotton bud and just see what happens. I 
That's pretty good. And obviously it's shiny at the moment because it's wet. Just try taking some off the off the treads. Like it's uh, driven over the road a little bit. So leave it in in the gaps in the tread. But uh, oops, it's coming off. We blue tax letting go. I could have done a wash again, but uh, I thought maybe this would work. Obviously it's quicker drying. And as usual, if I mess it up, I can just paint it again. But uh, no, I'm quite happy with that. It's not too grubby. I can always put a little bit more on if, if I decide to. Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm going to do the rest of them now. Hello boys and girls. Um, right, it's the following day. So just to catch up, I slopped a load of, it was like a couple of shades of, of brown, sort of sandy and a dark earth. I just slopped it all over the bottom. Did that last night. <clears throat> the theory being, once that sat over it, It'll be behind it. It'll be easier to do it now than trying to get the paintbrush around it. And I think it kind of looks all right. Might be a bit heavy, but I like it. Uh, nothing new on there. All I've done is put the two steps on there and there and just touch them in and painted the steering column in blue. And... Here's the wheels from last night. So now they're dry. But if you can make out, so it's the slight sheen on the rubber there. And then the treads, quite muddy. I haven't bothered too much about the inside. But you can still see a bit of blue coming through on the wheel. Yeah, so not too over the top. I think that one probably could have had a bit more on it. Yeah, that one's all right. And yeah, that one's quite muddy. So I think I'll just put a little bit more on that, that one. So I'll leave that to one side. Then my frog face. That's had two light coats now. I didn't want to go too heavy because you've got the grill pattern there. I thought if I went a bit heavy with the paint it might clog it up and it'd just be smooth and I wanted that to come through so I think it just needs one more coat and then I can put the headlight like paint silver in there and then put the lot the glasses in I think that looks okay I'm at that um that finishing off stage now so there's just odd little things to do so I've just painted the the ball bar parts on here that was just because I had the paint out I thought I'll just give it a quick coat then when I put it on all I've got to do is touch it in uh, same with the little side lights that go, go on there um, so that's about it for now uh, oh that's not the the windscreen panel I put the glass in there last night. And you probably, I don't know, maybe you can see it. The windscreen wiper. I was really, really careful. I really didn't want to have a big splodge of paint across there. So masking tape either side and just did the lightest little touch of, of blue on it. Just thinking it could have been blue, could have been black. I don't know but just a little bit, you can just about see it as I move it in the light. I've just got to put a bit across there. Um, then that'll be that bit done. Um, yeah. So it's all those little 
last minute bits and then all of a sudden it'll go dunk and it's all finished. Okay, so I'm just finishing up for today. So all I've done is put the little side lights on there and a little trick from Nigel's modeling bench. I'll stick his link in. Um, he's a little bit ahead of me building the same kit and he's a long way ahead of me in skills. Um, but a little handy tip was if you've got little parts like that, cut a bit of the sprue off first and then you can use that to put the part on. Then once the glue's set, then you snip it off and gently clean it up. Brilliant. So uh, thanks, Nigel. Um, I've stuck the wheels on. A little bit fiddly getting this uh, my steering arm, I suppose you call it. Track rods. You know, this bit here. Just a little bit fiddly getting it on it. The uh, on the hubs, but not not too dreadful. And I'll just touch that up once that's dry. Back wheels just went straight on. Um, I'm just leaving that propped up so that the wheels don't move as the glue sets. A um, couple of bits on here, and I've put the the boxes on the back. They're a little bit fiddly, just where the the legs. As you call it, go into the slots in the body. Just got to make sure you get them straight. So make sure they're straight that way and that way. Because you might find that one of the legs hasn't quite popped into the hole. But yeah, not dreadful. Uh, what else have I done? Just carefully masked up that line where the two parts of the, the glass join. You see that? I've just done a thin little little line of the blue on there. Uh, what else have I done? I made a bit of a pig's ear of this. Putting the silver paint inside to be like the reflector for the headlight. And I just splashed it all around the hole there. And I think the glass only goes in, yeah, rather than it sit on the edge, it goes in a little bit. So I might have to just touch up over that silver with a bit of blue. Uh, painted the radiator black. Although I don't think you can see that at all once it's built, but might as well do it. Um, so that's about it. There's a few other bits. I've just given a coat of uh, matte varnish. They're over there drying. So that's kind of it for, for tonight. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.